Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new uh, trapezoid and pentagon window uh, <clears throat> options I've added to the uh, wall plugin here just in the last uh, few days. So to start off with let's just go ahead and put down a little grid here with this grid tool and we'll throw up some walls. Alright and then I'm just going to go here and I think we'll start with we'll just do like a wall height of like 10 feet just so we have a little more headroom. Okay, so let's go ahead and stretch out here. Doesn't really matter where. Just give ourselves some wall to work with. Okay, so we got some walls, 10 feet high, exterior. So we just go ahead and add windows. And that popped up over there. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so basically, um, you, you know, default, you always start with a rectangular window. But you'll notice now that um, we have trapezoid and pentagon as two options. So when I click trapezoid or pentagon, you're going to notice that four more parameters are immediately visible. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> actually this parameter uh, window direction is only applicable to the trapezoid and not applicable to the pentagon. So I will eventually probably gray that one out when you select pentagon. But let's just go ahead and hit update on that. We'll just leave it at default. Um, with a window pitch of 412 uh, and we'll go ahead and place our window. <coughs> now you'll also notice too the preview does only sh does not show like a trapezoid. I, I will probably change that as well. That's just a simple f matter actually. Okay, now let's go ahead and change to pentagon. Yeah, well, at the same time just keeping the wall tool open or the window tool open, sorry. And <coughs> we'll keep the same window pitch. Um, now again the left uh, direction does not matter or right and you'll also notice too that this total window height will be displayed so what that really means is that when you measure these windows um, well let's get into it here let's let's hide a couple layers here so we can uh, or tag sorry so we can dig into this a little more so we're going to turn off the trim we're going to turn off the, uh, the casing on the interior and let's turn off the chips and while we're at it. So we can kind of see what's going on with the framing. Okay, so <clears throat> the interesting thing here is that when you select the wall window height, okay, you're actually selecting this dimension, the leg dimension. For, so basically from here to there. And you'll notice that this window uh, height we originally set at uh, 48 inches or 4 feet, right? So the total window height of course is the four feet plus whatever additional we've got here and the same goes for the trapezoid so if we measure this we'll notice that we had actually set it at four feet in which it is and then if we put a dimension on this leg we'll notice that that's actually in this case five feet uh, my dimensions aren't doing what I want so if we go ahead and edit this opening um, by the way editing an opening is very easy any door or window just click this edit opening tool and then mouse over and you'll see it highlight and then once it's highlighted click that and this shot pops up sorry I have those on the other window or uh, screen so <clears throat> notice that the window uh, height is set at 48 inches but the total window height is given here now this is not an editable dimension it's just should displaying it for information only so you can see that it's the plugin uh, menu is calculating and telling you what that overall height it will be it's just kind of for your information uh, so you know what what you know what's going on with this thing and then the display dimension um, will be the total window height so it's a 3050 TZL window TZL stands for trapezoid left so let's go ahead just to test this out um, go ahead and hit right and we do that we'll notice now we've shifted it the other direction and we've got TZR displayed so trapezoid uh, yeah, trapezoid left, trapezoid right. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and change the pitch. I'm just trying to demonstrate what you can do with this thing. And again, note here that the with trapezoid windows, you get uh, a sloped header. With pentagon windows, you do not get a sloped header. Basically, it is up to the user to provide the infill framing around this opening. It's kind of similar to you know what I have going on with oval windows, octagon windows, that sort of thing. So I'm not providing the framing here or here. 
Uh, I might do that in the future um, if I get enough interest. So far, there just hasn't been very much interest from people requiring that I provide that additional framing. Um, and I've noticed in the field that it kind of varies on what people do that way. Some people frame it in uh, two by six. Some people just throw all kinds of blocks in there. And, uh, and sometimes it's just uh, strips of OSB and other <laughs> miscellaneous stuff. So it seems to be a very uh, mixed bag of uh, solutions there. So I just haven't worried too much about it. All right. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about was raised headers. So <clears throat> uh, let's see now. So th there is the possibility to do a raised header with this uh, trapezoid window type. I think, let me see here. Oh, okay, so basically we've got the built up header options. And if we do a raised header, you're gonna get this sort of thing. So the header's raised to the top. Now, again, this only works for uh, rectangular walls. There is no raised header option currently for gable, shed, or hip walls, just for rectangular walls. So you end up with a situation like this. And similarly with the uh, uh, Pentagon window, we could probably switch that to a raised header, and you end up with that sort of deal. So, either way, uh, you know, you've got all the options here. You can do top, you can do bottom, you can do none. Um, just giving you various framing options around those openings. Okay, so now let's talk about, I'm going to switch that back to a conventional uh, header here. Just, just stay, keep things kind of basic. So <clears throat> now we have the option, of course, if we want, of setting this up with a zero height. So we can get triangular windows out of these two uh, variants. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, first of all, let's uh, change this pitch maybe to 1212. Um, <clears throat> and notice you can you have the option of changing the degrees. I mean, I could put a 30 degree uh, window in there, 45. It's going to calculate my pitch and vice versa. It'll calculate my degrees if I put the pitch. So you can, it's kind of either or, whichever one you're more comfortable with. Um, and then we're going to set this window height right here to zero. And notice it's calculated the total window height, which is 18 inches. So it should give us a triangular window. And it does. So we've got, you know, the <clears throat> potential of doing any isosceles shaped window and if we calculate our uh, angle right uh, we can also get uh, uh, <clears throat> what do they call it uh, uh, the, the perfect triangle I can't for some reason it I can't uh, remember what the name for the uh, <laughs> equilateral triangle that is sorry yeah equilateral triangle. so we got the equilateral isosceles uh, possibility on this side and Again, now when you notice the callout, instead of being a pentagon, it's TR, which stands for triangle. Okay, and there is no left or right, doesn't matter. Uh, let's sw switch that back just to say it's uh, pentagon. And notice it goes to PT, which stands for pentagon. And by the way, uh, the only option for the windows uh, on this, let's see, turn back on our window layer. Let's turn on the window. Basically, it's just a picture window, right? A fixed window. There is no opening type uh, versions yet for this uh, configuration or this geometry. So basically, we've got a picture window for the Pentagon, a picture window for trapezoid. Okay, so that's uh, Pentagon. Let's go ahead and try that now with this uh, the trapezoid type window. So, uh, and you know, you can set this whatever. I'm just setting it to 12, 12, so the window's not too small. <clears throat> and let's set our window height at uh, zero. Hit update on that. And you can see, obviously, we've got that. That's uh, not right. So let's just adjust our header height. So let's say 60 inches. Drive that back down to where it's within the wall. Um, you know, I have I haven't put in a lot of extra code to stop people from doing you know geometrically impossible situations i have some code in place for that um, but as time goes on as the plugins mature i probably will add in more code to stop people from doing things like that but honestly as long as it's not throwing an error it's not really hurting anything it just allows you to kind of say oh yeah that window's too tall not in the within the wall and so i can adjust it accordingly okay so there we go there's an uh <coughs> what i call a right triangle um and we've got a TRR. So it's a right 
a triangle right. And then if we swap it out with the left, we can do that and we get triangle left. Okay. And if we turn on the wall trim, you can see that um, the trim adjusts a little bit because you know because of the triangular shape. This this leg or jam board ends up getting deleted. And uh, it's similarly with the casing, we have a similar sort of situation. All right, so that's pretty much it really for trapezoid um, and pentagon windows. The only one other thing I really want to demonstrate with that is we're going to go to a gable wall and throw up a gable at the wall real quick. So <clears throat> if I put a trapezoid window here, and obviously that's not the right, uh, that's not what I want to do, but I'm going to adjust it now. Uh, and, and this is a 412 pitch, mind you. So a lot of times with the um, with a wall like this, you might have a uh, scissor truss situation, and so then the pitch or slope of the uh, of the window itself is less than the slope of the uh, of the of the wall. So okay, let's go ahead and just set it so it's more visible here. So so here we go. You know we've got this sort of situation. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up real quick. And I'm going to change this to say a 612 pitch. Um, let's put both sides to 612. Just get a little more, a little more rise on it there. Okay, so <clears throat> now you can see that we've got, and I'm going to turn off this casing. We've got a wall where the slope is greater than the w window pitch, and that's fine. We can do that. Um, however, there are situations sometimes where you have a you know a window that is the same slope and in that case um, let's see what did we do 612 so you can see you can do that as well um, you know and you'll have that sort of situation but but oftentimes I've seen where you know the contractor or the designer will drive this header all the way up to um, the top plate here to eliminate these cripples and just push that up as far as they can. So, you know, the thing is, is when you do that sort of thing, at least with the plug in here, it's a little bit more difficult only in the fact that you've got to calculate a few numbers here or get the measurement so that you can push it up to the right height. Because the header height is basically um, right there. Let me measure that distance real quick just to demonstrate. Okay, so yeah, so that's 80 inches, which is our header height. And we're basically wanting to get up to, you know, push this basically this point all the way up until it reaches there. So it's not going to be an even number. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to get at. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So basically, I know the header height is going to be right there. And I'm just going to draw a vertical line straight up there. And then I'm going to draw, and you can do this with construction lines as well. And I'm going to draw another line right here just to intersect it and let's just go ahead and delete that little line there delete that line too okay so now we've got little like a construction line here right and I'm gonna put a measurement on that just so I can see I mean I guess I could just measure right from the bottom let's just do that and actually um, to get this really exact what I'd like to do is sometimes I'll switch my units here uh, to decimal so I can get a better read on kind of what I've got going on and then let's go ahead and throw a dimension from this point right here to the bottom of the wall and that should be the header height that I need to drive this all the way to the bottom of that top plate so let's try that now so we go ahead we edit this wall and we're going to change out our header height here from 80 inches to 108.05215. It doesn't have to be that exact, but I'll bring it to the five decimal place. Okay, and then close. Okay, sorry, the, I measured that from that point when it should be measured from the top. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Right. So technically, we got to account for that distance. So actually, you know what I typically do here? Um, 
I've got 80 inches. I know that. Um, the quick and easy way to do this is just put a line here. I just know that the differential height I need to get is from this point to that point. I need to close that gap essentially, right? So I've done that now. I've drawn the little construction line. I put my little measurement right there, right? So when I go ahead and edit this now, I'm going to do 80 plus 21. So what does that give me? 101.90296. So just, you know, just a little math here to figure things out. And boom, we're done. We've got it. Okay, so there we go. I don't need that dimension anymore. So what that has done now is it's basically fine-tuned my header height so that it's adjusted exactly so that it will butt up to the bottom of that top plate, thereby removing any cripple studs or any insulation there. And that is what I intended. And again, the slope of this header matches the slope of this uh, top plate. And you'll often see this type of construction on these gable walls. So anyways, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, just wanted to demonstrate uh, the abilities now of the trapezoid and uh, pentagon window type with the associated triangle window types that can also be created. Um, I also just wanted to note that uh, on the YouTube channel, um, basically if you go to click on the YouTube channel, um, you should now see, um, instead of just my basic banner up there, I will be posting up banners showing uh, ongoing promotions or sales that are going on at any given time so that way I can get that information out to people better. So anyways, uh, thank you again for watching this video and if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to email me and uh, I will do my best to answer those. So thank you for your support. Thank you.